The state of Florida reports a decrease in the homeless population. Anybody that lives in Florida knows that's borderline blasphemy. According to analytics, Florida would rank number three in the United States for homelessness at under 30,000 people. Of course, knowing how many homeless people exist in a state is a very difficult challenge, but we do have the ability to break it down into more understandable county level analytics. And that's exactly what we're gonna do on today's video to try to understand if these numbers actually make sense. Naples, Florida, Corlear County, where I spent over 20 years of my life, is reporting over 600 homeless people as of recently. However, they're also reporting a decline in their homeless population since 2019. Now, I lived in this county in 2019, and that's actually when the homeless problem really got out of control. We even started making videos on that topic back then. Before that date, it was literally impossible to find a homeless person in Collier County. And in fact, even to this day, it's not easy to find homeless people in the Naples area, as even I, being from there, have not been able to do videos of homeless camps in this county. The area adjacent to the Collier County Jail in East Naples is where most of the homeless are going to be found in this county, people being released indigently back into the streets. So let's assume that this number of 600 for Naples is accurate and work off of that in comparison to understand what other counties are reporting and to understand if it even makes sense. Anybody who has lived in the Naples, Fort Myers area knows for a fact that Lee County would have a larger homeless population. That's not even debatable. Not only is the population of Lee County bigger, but visibly, you can appreciate that there's much more homelessness. However, Lee County is reporting less than 400 homeless people as of 2021. They're also reporting dramatic decreases in their homeless population. Now, anybody that lives in the Fort Myers area right now is looking at these analytics and they're laughing. For one, we know that Lee County has a much larger homeless population than Naples. And next... We know that homelessness in Fort Myers has skyrocketed, especially in the last few years, to the point where we've even seen homeless encampments show up in parks that's never existed in the Fort Myers area. The whole concept of our YouTube channel over the last few years has been showing how homelessness has grown out of control in Fort Myers. Despite the fact homelessness has visibly increased all over the Fort Myers area, Lee County is showing that their homeless rates now are lower than they've ever been. In fact, it's less than half what it was in 2011. So we can go ahead and say that these analytics for homelessness for Lee County are definitely inaccurate. Not only is Lee County going to have a larger homeless population than Corlear, but they're also going to have an increase rather than a decrease in their homeless population. Manatee County, Florida, where I currently live, is reporting in 2021 only 185 homeless people. That's an absolutely laughable figure. I've seen 185 homeless people in one day just driving around Bradenton. Just yesterday, I was driving to the beach and I ran across this homeless camp behind a building and I noticed that the homeless camp, which appeared to belong to a female, had recently burnt down as well. I've lived in Corlear, Lee, and Manatee County, and I can assure you that the homeless population in Manatee County is by far greater than both of those counties even combined. Notice that Manatee, Sarasota, Corlear County have almost similar populations at about 400,000, and that really helps us to make a good eyeball comparison when these counties have very similar populations. If you gave me the counties and the numbers and asked me to connect the dots, you would most logically assume that the 185 would correspond to Corlear, the 400 to Lee, and the 600 to Manatee. So we can go ahead and say that the number of 185 for Manatee County is not only inaccurate, it's probably vastly inaccurate. So we can start to see just by the counties I've lived in how the analytics that the state of Florida is putting out there for homelessness 
simply do not make any sense. The other question that comes to my mind is, is the 600 number for Naples accurate? Well, like I said, the vast majority of the homeless in Naples are going to be people being released indigently from prison, and there's no real reason to understand why a city like Naples would want to over-exaggerate their homeless population. If anything, they'd be trying to cover it up. Regardless, none of these analytics really make sense, and we can assume that the quote-unquote official figures for homelessness in Florida are going to be vastly inaccurate, since a drive through Branton, Florida, you can see 180 people on the streets just in a day. And that was for 2021. Their analytics are showing a vast decline, so maybe there will only be 40 homeless people left by 2023, right? Sarasota County is reporting about 340 homeless people, and their population of homelessness is declining so much, you would almost think it's about to disappear. The population for Sarasota County is also in the 400,000s, making it easily comparable to the other counties we've gone over. And that's a good thing to know because we're just eyeballing these numbers and comparing real life situations to what these analytics allegedly report. Now Manatee County and Sarasota County are right next to each other and I live on the Manatee Sarasota County line and I can tell you that for a fact there's more homelessness on the Manatee side and most people that live in the Sarasota Bradenton area would probably agree that there's more homelessness on the Bradenton side than there is on the Sarasota side. So once again, we could probably say that these analytics are also inaccurate. Besides the fact that there's no way Sarasota has a smaller homeless population than Naples. I've lived in both metropolitan areas and for a fact, there are full on homeless camps in Sarasota. You simply will not find this in the Naples area. Downtown Sarasota is covered with homeless people. You probably will not find a homeless person in downtown Naples. Anybody who's familiar with Sarasota and Naples will tell you that Naples has a far smaller visible homeless population and in downtown Sarasota, Homelessness is in your face all the time. And we can assume that these analytics suggesting that Sarasota would have a smaller homeless population than Naples simply doesn't check out. In less than a year living in the Sarasota area, I've already stumbled into several large homeless camps. I can guarantee you that this probably doesn't exist in the Naples area. Keep in mind, I lived in the Naples area for over 20 years. So if anybody would know where these camps would be, it would be me. Pasco County, Florida is currently reporting 850 homeless people. However, if you go back some years, they were reporting over 4,500 homeless people in their county. That means that roughly one in every 100 people in this county of Florida were homeless back then. I'm not going to offer my opinion of whether the Pasco County homeless population has increased or if it has decreased. I'm going to leave that up to you guys who are watching this video, but you have to answer in the following format. I lived in the Pasco area or in Pasco County for so many years, and I think that the homeless population has increased, decreased, or is about the same. There's no real way to know the actual homeless population. What we're trying to establish on today's video is whether the analytics that we're being given to are accurate or if there's some type of misinformation or manipulation in the numbers we're being given. That's why it's important for you, the person watching this video, to share your opinion on the number of homeless in your county over the years so we can establish whether these numbers that are showing a complete drastic decline are true. From my personal perspective, in the counties that I've lived in, I see nothing but a complete increase. But I want to give you guys in Pasco County the microphone and let you guys tell me what you think is going on with the population in your county. And again, I just want to know if you think it's increasing, decreasing, or staying about the same. To me, these vast decreases in homeless population do not make sense. The complete opposite makes sense to me. 
We've already done several videos like this on our channel where we look at the analytics and compare it to real life situations on the ground. And it seems to me that the state of Florida is doing a massive effort to cover up arrest reports, overdose deaths, and of course homelessness. Take the fact that Florida claims that the crime rate in the state and in most counties is down, but so are the drug related arrests. And that's something that the police has done in not going after low-level offenses, which on paper looks like a decrease in crime. But in reality, the average person living in Florida knows that crime is a bigger concern now than ever. And the same thing can be said about homelessness. And most of us can clearly see that we're being lied to with these analytics. They're trying to paint a picture of improvement to make it seem like they've done a great job and convince more people to move here. However, we know the situation on the ground doesn't confirm what they're trying to put out. Today, most sheriff's offices in Florida claim that they've reduced crime drastically since 2015. However, in 2015, for every single person that died for a drug overdose, there were 35 drug-related arrests. Today, that number's gone down to about eight, which means that police was four to five times more proactive in making drug arrests when there was a drug overdose. So instead of showing you guys the real numbers on how police isn't as proactive as it used to be, they paint a picture that crime is, well, there's less crime because there's less arrests. So analytically, they've painted you a picture of how the state of Florida now has less drug arrests. However, we now have two times more overdoses than we did in 2015. And this is how they manipulate these analytics to make it seem like they're doing a great job, but in reality, the complete opposite is true. And when it comes to homelessness in Florida, not only do these numbers not make any sense, but the fact that they're showing a decline in homelessness would almost convince me that the complete opposite is true. Brevard County is showing a massive decline in their homeless population. And while I'm not going to give an opinion on that, if you've lived in the Melbourne, Titusville area or anywhere in Brevard County, I would love to hear your opinion on whether you think this is accurate or not. But when I look at the number, about 430 homeless people that they're reporting, that would put it on par with places like Lee County. But because these analytics are so inaccurate, the more figures we introduce to the conversation, the more confusing the topic becomes since none of this information is actually factual. And what incentive does a county in Florida have other than to minimize these numbers when they're asked what their homeless population would be? Then you have counties like Dixie, which despite the fact they have a homeless population, simply refuse to report that it exists. I wouldn't doubt that in some of these rural places in Florida, the homeless population actually has decreased, but it has increased in most of the urban counties that we've examined. And I say that because I have explored a lot of rural Florida, and with the rising real estate prices and new homes being built, there's less places to hide if you're homeless and looking for a structure. Many years back along the Florida East Coast, structures were plentiful and competition for them was not existent. However, today on the Florida East Coast, there's a lot of competition for these abandoned structures that were once plentiful. I think what's possibly happened in North Central Florida is that a lot of the rural homelessness got pushed into the cities where we can see it. And these numbers really haven't fluctuated. It's just that their presence is now more noticeable. Miami Day reports 3,200 homeless people and a slight decrease in their homeless population. I don't know if the numbers are accurate, but I do believe that the slight decrease makes sense to me. I've seen noticeably less homelessness on the streets of Miami. Even then, at some point, Pasco County had more homeless than Miami. And you know, the sad thing is, I don't doubt it. That's how bad the homelessness in that region of Florida has been and continues to be. Even though it's a small rural county, their actual number, the population of homeless, is much larger than a city like Miami. Now, that would mean that Dade County has 3.7 times more homeless than Pasco today if the numbers of 850 and 3200 are accurate. 
do I think that Miami has almost four times more homeless people by number than Pasco County? Keep in mind, I've spent time in both of these counties extensively. The population of Miami-Dade County is 4.6 times larger than Pasco County. Before we even do the math, it doesn't check out at a quick eyeball because the rate of homelessness in Pasco County is far greater than the rate of homelessness in Miami. These numbers are simply too close to each other, which would suggest that the ratio of homelessness in Miami is the same as it is in Pasco County, or fairly close to each other. And as we know, that's definitely not the case. In 2010, despite being a much smaller county, they actually had 1,500 more homeless people than Miami does today. That simply doesn't check out. Somebody's lying, and I don't think it's the city of Miami. Once again, inaccurate information. Because the city of San Diego, California, which has a smaller population than Miami, claims to only have 10,000 homeless people. If that was true, then Miami's homeless population would appear to be about a third of San Diego's. And I really don't think that's the case. I think San Diego's homeless population is probably approaching 26,000 people. You're simply not going to convince me that the ratio from Miami to San Diego is only three times more. Even with Miami having a much larger population than San Diego, you're comparing Miami-Dade County to the city of San Diego, Miami-Dade County has a much larger population. Even then, that still doesn't check out. There's just far more volume of homelessness in the city of San Diego than there is in the county of Dade. It doesn't check out right. The other side of that would be to compare what Pasco County was in 2010 to what San Diego is now, and that is also mind-boggling. So none of these analytics about homelessness really make sense. Different cities, different states, everybody's trying to cover up the real magnitude of the problem. But when we compare the analytics to each other, we can clearly see so many inaccuracies in these numbers. And we can establish that homelessness and the numbers that we're getting from both the state of Florida and the state of California are lies. Everybody's trying to cover up the magnitude of the problem. And the state of Florida is trying to make it seem like it doesn't even exist when in fact it's actually growing. The one thing we could probably establish, however, is that the declines in the homeless population that the state of Florida is trying to portray are simply inaccurate. With the exception of cities like Miami, which due to rising cost of living are having a slight decrease in their homeless population, the less fortunate counties that those homeless people are moving to are having an increase New York State's homeless population is very accurate because their homeless population is actually being sheltered by the state, so they know the exact number. So when you talk about unsheltered homeless, the state of Florida is the runner-up next to California. And that is why the state of Florida is trying to cover up the real situation in the state because they don't want people to know that Florida's homeless situation has become as serious as California's. Hopefully, homelessness in Florida never gets to be as bad as it is in California. However, when you compare it to the other 48 states that are left, nothing even comes close. Florida's homeless situation is the second worst in the entire country. There are states that have a higher rate of homelessness in Florida, However, with smaller insignificant populations, it doesn't compare in the scope of the size of the issue. And there it is, guys. That's what's really happening in the state of Florida when it comes to homelessness. Clearly, there's a lot of efforts being made to cut off the analytics so people don't know the real numbers. And when we compare a few counties that we're very familiar with to each other, we can see that the inaccuracies in the numbers that add up to the total of Florida's homeless population clearly don't make any sense. After studying these numbers very closely, I think Florida's homeless population is really closer to about 67,000 people. But to really know this number is impossible. And with so many counties trying to cover up the real situation, how will we ever know?